Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Welcome back to MotoGP 18 as Mario had a terrible ending last time after a very good race. Can he follow it up with a fantastic result around the Thailand circuit to get back in the title race? So here goes McDonald in for the first of three possible qualifying laps on his Leopard. As we go around the newest circuit added to the MotoGP calendar in Thailand, has a bit wide in the first corner for McDonald. We're down to two lower gear there, down to first. Just need it down to second or even third. You can carry speed through there. So Madonna has superb pace round here. Last season on that Vintia. Let's see if we can lock on similar pace. On board this Leopold, he goes a bit wide in the hairpin. But he's just a tenth town about me. After the first sector. As you can see, half of this that. It's just straight and tight corners. And it really does get a bit tight and tricky in the middle sector for the rest of the lap in the second half. It's all a bit wider than the left hander. Bang, he's four tenths up. Take that. So it goes for the left hand, a slight lift. Trying to do the same for the next corner, but he's gone a bit wide. It's going to cost him some time. Nicely hooks up that right hander. And he's five tenths up now. His exit the left hander. And it's just flat out run now. Towards the final corner. That's McDonald grab pole here. And his first lap. No, he hasn't. What an abysmal final corner. As he does a 43 fat, one and a half seconds off the pace, but he can definitely match that. He just nails the lap round here. There you go, that's a bit better than the first corner. Still clobbered a lot of curb on the inside, which cost him time. As everyone's coming out of the pits to set their final runs. Sneaks by someone, has all four gear down. Sneaks by Stray Galitza Rider. He breaks himself into the hairpin. Smart sets a 41 5. Well, McDonald was half a second off in that first sector. So, this first half of that should be McDonald's with this straight line speed this Leopard has as well. Should be very strong. A bit wide for the left, 1.3 up now. Oh, it's ruled in the roost. So go through the right hander. So run halfway through to that. A bit wide in the next right. But it's 1.6 up. Let's go through the right, then the left, flat out. Does stay committed in that throttle, which is a bit leery on the Avintia, but easy on the Leopard. Breaks a bit early into the final corner this time. It gets away, and it's pole! 41-3! Well, is that good enough? Let's have one more lap then, McDonald. Nail this lap. I run him right immediately, and it's invalid! So here's what Donald revving up then at the start, waiting for the lights to go out here in Thailand. As we're underway and where's his refs? The bike's just stalled for McDonald at the start. Look, he's been jumped. As he's battling with Otto for 13. He's got Cornfield behind as well, but now he's got the grunt of this Leopard. And look at all this slipstream going on in front. You've got Antonelli in this, so we've got is that Mino Ramirez in front. Battling for the top five. So it goes three wide with his teammate. Where well, he gets the no dead porter. If you're not rubbing helmets, it's not racing. Isn't that what they say? To get G Gen and Tony getting in the top five. McDonald trying to join him and get past Ramirez and Mino. And then McDonald outbreaks himself by a country mile. Splendid job. As he 
got the Italian in front. Go down his inside. Look at DJ Antonio being overtaken by Ramirez. Great job from the Spaniards and great job from McDonald round the outside of both of them into fifth. And now you can see his friends at the front, it's starting with Bezeki. As Martin takes the lead from Machine, you've got Kinect in third. I'm trying to hold off the Gen Antonio. Saying get out of here to the Italian. As he's in, an Italian sandwich at the moment. Got two Benyachenkos, McDonald gets very aggressive with Bezeki. Obviously, you know, good friends from early in the season. As he going to the second lap, Bashni back ahead of Martin. Got Kinnett, got McDonald. Taking a very poor first corner and a terrible exit. So now even with the grunt of this air but I'm not sure he's going to get in the selection of the top three. But we'll be under attack from Bezeki from behind. That'd be the big question. He takes the tight line, gets pushed right by DJ Antonio. He is making friends this race, McDonald, already. And he managed to just hold off the Grassini rider, of course, going in like a hell to support his teammate at the front. It's a bit of a lone rule for there. Now you've got Bezeki and McDonald. They're part together. Of course, you've got Kinect with a stroke it's all by himself again. His teammate Alonso Lopez not even in the points. Well, the dog goes round the outside again, does he? Now, right hand. Uh, oh, Kinect battles back. The dog's got the inside line for the next right. Kinect blocks him, though. So, McDonald down to third. But down to four, sure. So, I'm staying in fourth. As you've got Suzuki, there is Alonso Lopez down in 19. Let's go through the final corner. Good exit for McDonald 41 flat. Do you want, want to be in the 40s though when the tyres are fresh? Up the temperature. And not worn too much. As you've got Rodrigo in 7th. And here comes McDonald with the stitching of Kinnett. Oh, again, a beautiful situation with the Spaniard. And it's down the inside of Australia, good it's a rider. So he made the move. Can add a lurk on the exit. The dog holds on, it's with feet up to 11th. I mean, you know, look at this from Bashini and Martin exchanging positions everywhere. For the lead. Oh, here comes McDonald now. Almost at the halfway mark, it's going to become a three way fight for the win. Between the four man Bashini, Martin the reigning champ, McDonald, the long time leader of this championship. But he's fallen on hard times recently. Well, for most of this season now, feels like. He makes a great move on Bashini down the inside of Martin into the right hander. And here comes Bashini down the inside of Martin as well. So they're part of double team. And the Grassini rider, he gets it back in the right hand. I know McDonald just slightly wide. As we're into the second half of this race, and look how crazy this battle for the lead is already. So it all just backs off, lets them go crazy. We go across the line. A 40.3. That's more like it. Connecting third. Bit slower than these three. Expected a bit more from Kinnett. Why is he not matching the pace? Of Leopard and Grassini as that stroke it's the machine. It's called for Batman with Yachenko for the final point. Battle of Japan for 18th. Seems to zoom in two, but as all McDonald breaks very deep. Gets into his teammate. They've both lost out to Martin, or have they? Here comes McDonald to the outside. Take the lead. He only took him around half of the race. But Bezeki right back at him. Wheel to wheel. 
for the Leopard Riders. Martin throws Bezeki through. Oh, Bezeki Bashini. Got my Italians mixed up. Dog goes down the inside of the right hand. He loves that move on the outside, but down on the inside as well. Obviously, fantastic in that corner, and they're still side by side. As they go into the right hand, oh! Bashini takes it, and again, McDonald loses out on that right hand. He's got to sort that out in the second half of this race. Look at that gap already, around half a second. We're putting on McDonald. As we go across the line. On to the fifth of that. Got Connect six tenths behind. Got the top three covered by half a second. Don no, still very cautious in that first corner as Delaporte is back with Drigo for seventh. Lucas nowhere near getting a slip stream this time around. He's just gonna have a set up out of this hairpin. Or maybe another move into that left hander. Does break very deep into this hairpin. Oh, but struggling to get on the power already. We're looking at the bottom right. The rear tyres don't do it that heavily worn. Might do the front, it's only around a quarter. I'm not sure why he's struggling so much there. The tyre wear. There's, look at this, all three virtually together through the left. Into the next left. Oh, my dog gets into Bashini. Martin assumes the lead. They're all coming back into the right-hander though. Oh, Bashley tries to cut him off. The other has got to be careful though. Don't let Martin get away. It feels like Bashley's just holding up McDonald now. Does he go for the right-hander? And through the left, McDonald does lose some time there. Just show maybe a lack of grip he's getting from these tyres compared to the rest. And he's there out of the final corner, 41-3, not a good that time. It's just the second side and a lap he did two laps ago. But he's still right there with the lead battle as McDonald. Let's go slightly wide. Let's look at all the flags rave on the left hand side. The fans are going crazy on this penultimate lap for this lead battle between these top three. Also got Kanet still in fourth. Bezeki and DJ Antonio looking for fifth. There you go, McDonald much more aggressive on the power. That seems to be the difference, but he's still not getting major slit stream off these two in front. I look at Yachenko rising up to 13th head of Arenas. The tie rider, normally they say home race, home crowd, gives you a few tenths of a second, makes you a bit quicker. Watch for the tie rider, he's still down in 27th. So I'm not sure what that says about his popularity, maybe with his own fans. Does he go for the right hand? They're going to the outside again, McDonald. He's got the run on Martin and Bastianini. So the pod one two is it? So the pod one two for Martin McDonald finally ahead of Martin and Bashley. No, get for that right hand again. McDonald keeps it up through the left. He's got some slit stream heading towards the final corner. Maybe it was that final lap. McDonald would sneak it down the inside. As now we head on to it. Look at a 40.4. Has he found this that time? He's 1.6 quicker ahead of Kinnett. Maybe quicker than Kinnett as well. There's all oh, Martin into McDonald's. And his final lap. Free for fighting. And that's what Donald finally made his move and got into the lead just when he needs to be. As he just holds off Martin and Bastini under the brakes. We're not trying to get the cart back on them. Towards the left hander. He's on the outside. He's going to be free wide into the left hander. Who's going to hold on? This time O'Donnell's got the edge. Ryan wants to make a bit of a battle of it, no, but 
McDonald holds on. Then into this very unusual left hander. But it does lead into this next left. And then into the right. Oh, and look at that smooth run from McDonald with half of that to go. Smino and Arena's are battling for 13th. Ramirez battling with McPhee for 11th. Spenard held on well this race for some good hard earned points. Oh, Burn is still trying to find them in 16th. There's McDonald finally ended his search for a race win. With just one corner to go. Looks like he had a good run through the left hander. Breaks nice and early, clips the apex, gets on the power. Runs towards the line and wins! Again! Finally! It has been such a brown run for the long time championship leader, but it finally ends in Thailand. So McDonald wins by a tenth from his teammate. So Leopold 1 2 with Martin in for Cadet in and only fourth ahead of DJ Toes, even though you're in fifth, with Bezeki in sixth. Another lonely rider, quite a few lonely riders in the top six. But then it gets a bit cozy between Della Porta and Tanelli. And Rodrigo Ramirez rounds out the top 10 in the Great job from the Spaniard. Arenas in 12th, but Fee 30, Corfell 40. And Mino grabs the final point just by 7 tenths of a second as he scores to the back. Yachenko's at the back. Round to the Kazakhstan rider in the end. It's like he had a full. As in the championship, Martin still leaves, but now it's just 11 points ahead of McDonald. His advantage has virtually been halved to the San Marino rider. We've got DJ Antonio down to third, still just 13 points behind his teammate. Then you've got Bashini up to fourth ahead of Kennet, but still 23 points separate the top five. Less than a race win. We've only got a handful of races remaining. Then Bezeki in sixth, Antonelli in seventh. Then a Porter in his own private battle in 8th ahead of Rodrigo. He's ahead of Otto now. In the top 10, Ramirez up to 4th ahead of Suzuki after his fantastic result. As you can see, still 4 riders yet to score, including the Thai rider. That's what Donald, he's just cemented that first rider role, hasn't he? Out qualifying his teammates, well, apart from Bashinini, even though it says he achieved it. He definitely did achieve his race objective. As we look at the Raptor, look at all those development points for the, the final stretch of the season. As Marquez wins in MotoGP ahead of Marquez, and then Marquez was in third. Well, Moto2 is a little year ahead of Alex Marquez and Bagnai, and yes, what a sight it was in Moto3. So let's see what has got to be developed for the next round. So we've got the engine, which is very good. We've got the brakes, which are very solid. Suspension, frame, or airway dynamics. So probably have to look at the frame because they've done nothing to it, despite the frame being incredibly solid on the Leopard, part. They still want to improve every bit of this bike. So, go for the stiffness, make the bike react faster when steering, or lean. The rate of descent increases for the bike when cornering. So basically going in for corner entrance, for corner exit. I think we're gonna go for corner exit. So we had a very time to get on the power sometimes, did McDonald. And shall we do it again? Made that stiff this, or shall we actually improve the lean? Let's actually improve corner entry and exit. So we go, the frame's now more developed than suspension. As for McDonald, he ends that baron run since Medjello. When you when you saw that first for the season, you thought he wouldn't wait. Almost 10 races for another victory. But he's finally achieved it, and now he head to another Asian race, the last of the season, well, penultimate of the season, heading to Japan and the Tring Room Metegi circuit where McDonough's gone well in the past. Can he grab another victory and really eat into that? Jorge Martin lead. We'll find out next time. So out for watching and we'll see you then.